Hi everybody, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials, here today to give you another tip on how to become more influential in your life and in the lives of others. Today I want to look at a quote that I'm about to send out to those 5,000 folks on my email list. And the quote says, in order to change some aspect of our lives, we must be willing to change our minds. Unfortunately, that is what most people are the least willing to do. So let's look at that because on some level it makes sense. I mean, we've made up our mind about some things. We have some beliefs that, that serve us. We've uh, come to some conclusions. We look at certain things in life in a way that is familiar, that we've chosen, that works for us, that we would recommend to someone we love. So this is not about changing our mind on everything in our world. It's about looking at those aspects of life that aren't serving us or aren't working for us or in a way that we're being that we wouldn't want to recommend to someone we love. If we want to make changes in those aspects of our lives, we've got to be willing to change our minds, to change our mind about what a relationship looks like, what a profession looks like, what a role as a parent looks like, or an employer or an employee, what a role as a friend looks like. How do I want to be? Who do I want to be? Because it's possible that we have come to this place in our life using beliefs that we just picked up along the way, or even maybe that were taught to us by well-meaning people, but that aren't serving us that aren't helping us create the life we want in a way that we would recommend to someone we love. So we've got to change our minds if we really want to influence that aspect of that relationship. Now, for those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that the phrase change our minds doesn't just mean adopt a new perspective. It means to be able to influence the neural pathways that we create in our brain. Because any time in the past we've done anything or said anything or believed anything, especially if we did it over and over and over, we created and reinforced a certain neural pathway. And if those neural pathways are around problems and the pain of the problem, the worry and the anxiety and the fear and the uh, reluctance and the resentment, and here we go, then those neural pathways went down to that lower 20% of the brain. Terrific for a fight-or-flight situation, not so great when we're trying to create the life we want. We want to change our mind. We want to create new neural pathways that take us from this limbic system up into the neocortex, up into this 80% of the brain where we have access to our interpersonal skills, our problem-solving skills, our clarity, confidence, creativity, compassion, uh, the ability to love and nurture ourselves and others. So if you have an aspect of your life that isn't really working the way you want to, it's not a way that you would recommend to someone you love, I encourage you to change your mind about that. Change your mindset about that. Change how you look at that, how you interpret it, in a way that now you would recommend this new mindset, this new belief, this new perspective to someone you love. Then go out and use life as a place to practice. I call it turning the problem into the practice field, where we are getting clear about the qualities and characteristics we want to bring to a certain aspect of our lives, and then using that aspect of our life as a place to practice. Because anything we practice, we get good at it. And if we practice it enough, it becomes a new habit, a new mindset, a new way of thinking about life that we don't have to change because we've chosen it now on purpose in a way that we would recommend to someone we love. So hopefully you're not in that uh, aspect of the population who, well, I will not change my mind. I have uh, decided this, and this is how it's going to be forever. We want to make sure we are always open to a new way of thinking, a new way of looking at things. Because we grow, we learn things, we develop, we evolve. And we want our mindset, our ability to engage that upper 80% of the brain to evolve as well. So if that's something that is meaningful to you, I encourage you to use your life to practice that. If you want me to come and do a presentation on how to bring a new mindset, a new perspective to dealing with stress, difficult people, leadership, customer service, uh, diversity, any of that, all you've got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, send me your thoughts. I would love to talk with you about that. By the same token, if you want to be on my email list of this 
5,000 folks that I send out a new quote to each week, a new short video to each week, go to the website, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Just put your email address, your first name in there, and each week you will receive one of these videos. I hope you're finding these videos fun and meaningful. If you do, please hit the like button. You know how Google and YouTube really pay a lot of attention to that in terms of who they recommend it to. And I hope this is helping you bring more clarity, confidence, creativity, purposefulness into every aspect of your life. If so, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.